Hi everybody, my name is Anya. Welcome to my channel. If you're anything like me, you feel the cold really easy. And the best part of the day is in the evening when you get to jump into your nice warm cozy bed. So when winter hit, I would pull out all of my blankets out of my cupboards and I would layer up my bed with heaps and heaps of different blankets in the attempt to stay warm. However, there was a few annoying problems with this. In the mornings, my bed was so hard to make because I'd have to layer all of those different blankets on my bed. It was insane. I don't recommend it. The second problem I came across was my bed always looked mismatched and all different colors and textures. It just looked really horrible and uninviting. The third and most annoying problem that I had was most of my blankets would fall off my bed and onto the floor so I would only end up with one or two blankets and I was quite cold. So needless to say I didn't end up with the warm cozy sleep I was hoping for. About two years ago I came up with the idea of joining two quilts together and it has been a lifesaver. If you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell button for notifications of any new videos I might upload. So let's get to the tutorial so you can make your own and stay warm and cozy this winter. Coming up is a list of items you will need to make your own warm cozy blanket. First of all, you're going to need two quilts in the same size, whether that is a single bed, twin bed, queen, or a king size bed. You're going to need some snap jean studs. I actually used two packets for my queen size blanket. You're going to need a metal skewer or something to be able to put holes through your blankets to be able to put your studs through. You'll need a permanent marker, any brand will do. You'll also need a nice hammer that you feel comfortable using to be able to put your jean studs together. Unfortunately, I'm just not sure how I can demonstrate how to put the jean studs together on camera, but don't worry because every pack that you buy, it comes with very clear instructions on how to put them together and how to use them on the pack of every pack that you buy. I'm going to use my permanent marker and I'm going to put a dot in every corner of my quilt for where I want my clips to go and then I am going to mark out three dots in between on every side on all four sides so that way I have five clips on each side of my after I finished marking my first quilt on where I wanted my clips to go, I got my second quilt and I made sure that I lined it up on top of the first quilt using the tags as a guide. After I lined up my two quilts using the tag as a guide, what I did is I moved my second quilt down just a little bit and then I safety pinned it together with the other quilt. That way I was able to mark the dot exactly in the same places where the dots were marked on the first quilt. Because the clips are different on one side to the other, what I've done is I have separated all the clips so that one side of the clips go into quilt number one and the other side of the clips go into quilt number two. That way there is no confusion or mix up on what clip goes where. So as you see here, I am using my skewer and I'm gonna make a hole directly through the 
marking that I made on my quilt. And then I'm going to use my skewer just to sort of move the stuffing away a little bit from around the hole just so that I can get my clip in there and I can get it sitting flush. As you can see here, because I'm doing this on my table surface, I've actually put a little tea tail down and then I'll put a cutting board on top just to protect my table. What I'm doing now is I'm putting my jeans clips together. I'm following the instructions on the back of the packet and then I'm going to use my hammer to secure them in place. So I didn't want to make the video long and boring and make everybody watch me put in absolutely every clip. So I did it off camera and this is what it looks like so far. So now I'm starting to put the clips on the other quilt. All you have to do is repeat the same steps as what you did with your first quilt and then when you're done just clip them all together and voila you have a nice thick luxe warm winter blanket This is what your finished product should look like. The beauty of this is you can actually unclip the two quilts so that you can use just one quilt in the warmer sort of weather. Or you can clip them both together and you can have a nice cozy warm blanket for winter. So I'm going to go off camera for a little bit so I can put my quilt cover on, make my bed and show you the finished product. Be right back soon. I get a lot of questions about this little project of mine and so keep on watching until the very end because I will address those questions and answer them. I am so happy with the way my blanket turned out. It's so nice and thick and luxurious feeling. I'm so glad I got to ch share this project of mine with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. One of the questions I get asked is, why not buy a high quality heat braiding quilt to start with? My answer to that is, with a really thick doona, you have to go and get it professionally dry cleaned. With my snap together quilts, I can just unsnap them, I can wash them in the washing machine, put them through the dryer and they're done. They're clean and ready to use. Another question I get asked is, do the snaps get cold in winter? To be honest, I've never ever felt the cold snaps at all. Thank you to all you beautiful people for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.